Hello and welcome back. My name is Erin L. Ferguson and this is my video series about creating the art for a 2D video game. If you've been watching this series for a while, you may notice something a little different today. My player character is completely custom. So if you've watched the last couple of episodes, you know that I've been working on sprite sheets so that the player can customize their own little hero character. And that's exactly what I have done. I have made mini Erin right here and I have started a new file with her. So in this episode, I really want to show you what the character creator looks like and how it works. And if you haven't seen the last two episodes, feel free to go back and watch those because you can see how the sprite sheets were created. And then of course in this episode, you'll get to see how it looks actually in game. So hang on just a second, I will pull up the character creator. Okay, here we are on our opening menu and we want to choose new game. You know, even though we've been working on this game for a long time, I'm always kind of amazed when things actually work. So like theoretically, I put together this sprite sheet with all of these pieces and parts, and theoretically you should be able to then put them together to make your own character. And I'm always just totally stunned when it actually works. <laughs> So at the start of a new game, you're going to be able to create your very own king or queen. So I want to show you some of the different options. So let's start with a male character. Of course, we can name him anything we want. So naturally, we're going to go with Hogarth. And let's make him a male. And I want to show you all the hair. You may remember these if you watched a couple of episodes ago. But here is sort of our... I don't know, I think of it as like the original hair because if you'll remember, our king character used to have a set design and this was pretty much his hair. So I think of that as the original. But of course, if you want to go with like cornrows or something that looks like your mom brushed it, this looks like pretty much every fourth grader. Of course, we've got Baldy here and let's go ahead and make a dad character. Let's find that stash. Oh yes, right there. Hair color. Let's see, I think he's gonna be a little heavy in the face. Let's give him some jowls. Let's do like big kindly sort of eyes. Yeah, round ones. Okay, so do we want brown or blue? I think blue. Blue strikes me as sort of a kindly grandpa sort of face. Skin tone and clothing. Perfect. This looks like everybody's dad. All right, let's see what other options we can come up with. <laughs> oh gosh, I love this jowly face so much. You take away that mustache and you see just how glorious it is. Ooh, let's go with like this nice auburn hair. Let's see, ooh, very shaggy. I like this sort of unkempt, I just woke up this way look. Let's see, what kind of beard can we give this guy? <laughs> some of these don't even fit if you've got... <laughs> If you've got the jowly face, some of these don't even fit. We might have to make small adjustments. Oh, yes. I have been tweaking and tweaking and tweaking this week. You guys have no idea. I have tweaked every single hairstyle and head, the arms, the legs. I have just tweaked to death to try and get this as perfect as possible. Oh, yeah, I like this. Now let's get that beard in there. Yeah, right there. That's the good stuff right there. <laughs> I think he'd have like shrewd sort of eyes like there. Let's make him brown. I think that goes nicely with his hair. Are you guys feeling this? Cause I am feeling this. I think you guys already know where I'm going with this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This man is of course an expert in all of the martial arts. He can crack ice with his forehead. Let's make that sweet special boy whose mom got him dressed this morning. There we go. Face, big eyes, yes, so cute. How about blue? Definitely blue. Right there, this looks like a young lad who's ready for adventure. All right, let's make ourselves a female and we'll call her Gertrude. Gertrude. Once again, let's go through all of our hair options. And I tell you what, the female hair options have been giving me a headache, making sure they all fit just so. I love this, very 1920s. I like the really round face with this hairstyle. I think that's super, super cute. Yeah, love the eyelashes. Now she needs to be pale as death. Maybe a little less pale. <laughs> Ooh, and the green outfit. Love that. What else can we come up with? Ooh, love this. What if we do like white hair? Uh-huh, 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 yeah. I actually kind of love this. She reminds me of like Storm from X-Men. And once you create a character you're happy with, you are of course free to start your game. 
And I want to point out also that not only has the player benefited from all of these updates, but our peasants have as well. So while I was going through and drawing and tweaking and working on the player character, we also went through and did a bunch of tweaks on the peasant. It just made sense at this point to go through and to make sure that both the peasants and the player character all used the same parts. So there are consistent sizes between the heads, the faces, the hairstyles. So moving forward, as you are playing the game and you are able to craft things like armor and different outfits, they should be able to fit both the player and the peasant. So basically everyone was a winner, the peasants are more attractive, the player is customizable, and everybody lived happily ever after. So thank you all for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I know it was a shorter one today, but I am hoping to spend this afternoon putting a bunch of schedules in so a bunch of our NPCs actually have things to do other than lay around in bed. So I'm probably gonna be spending the next few days not doing so much drawing as like, typing, but you know, it's all necessary to get the game up and running. So I appreciate you hanging out with me. I will be back, of course, next week with another video. So until then, enjoy the rest of your week.